This is so exciting. I have never done a video like this ever. It's way out of my comfort zone, but it's really exciting. I'm hiding in a cupboard because this week what I'm planning to do is surprise Mary, completely surprise Mary with a little present. It was her birthday last week, but it, this is not for her birthday and I didn't want her to feel like it was. So I'm trying to give it enough time between birthday and present for it to be a standalone thing because it's something I've wanted to do for ages. Um, I'll cut to the chase. I don't know why I'm actually hiding in the cupboard because Mary's not in. <laughs> oh, by the way, probably should mention I'm buying Mary the Garmin Vivo Active 4S. <laughs> I don't know why I was in the cupboard, but I'm out here now and I can talk loudly because Mary's not around, but I am really excited about this surprise. Let me just, let me fill you in a little bit. So if you don't follow the channel, if you don't know Mary, then first of all, you're mad because she's a wonderful human being and I am very privileged to be married to her. But she has been on her own running journey now for a couple of years. She was a runner growing up. Um, she was actually a sprinter and, and she kind of fell out of the running, got a few injuries and fell out of it. She's been running again for the last few years and, and she's really, really come on. You know, she ran a marathon in Seville earlier this year and, and everything is going in the right direction. And I want to surprise her and I, I really believe that she deserves this little surprise and treat. So we're gonna get her to take it out for a run once we've got it. I'm gonna order it now. I'm actually quite nervous. I've never done anything like this before and um, not not surprise Mary. I've surprised Mary. In fact, she thinks that I can't surprise her. She thinks that she knows every time I'm up to something. So I'm even more excited to find out if she knew that anything was going on because I really don't believe she did. I'm having to order it to the local convenience store so that it doesn't get delivered to home and Mary gets a sniff of it. So I'm gonna go and pick it up. Just place in order. Done. No, they're not cheap, these watches. £259.99. So I'm hoping that it's everything that Mary wanted it to be and also that the review means that it justifies its price tag, but we will see. It's time. I have a plan. I've sold it to her that I'm going to Sainsbury's to do the weekly shop, <laughs> like I would do that voluntarily, but I'm gonna go and get a small present in Sainsbury's, something completely generic, pointless, but you know, she could think, oh, it's a little gift, and I'm gonna put the proper gift inside that gift so that when she opens it, blammy. <sighs> right, I've got the decoy, the red herring, it's, it is simply a Harry Potter lunch bot, uh, like pointless really, but I'm gonna try and get the, the watch in there. If I put it in a bag like that and she looks at it from above. Ah, uh, boom town. Right, let's go surprise her. When I come up, you have to close your eyes. Right, close your eyes. They're closed, fully closed. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. Put your hands out. Do I like it? I don't know. You'll see. Hang on, I'm going to put it in your hands. Oh, God. Okay. Gently. Okay, you can open your eyes now. What is it? Have a look. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I may have bought you a little new present. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh my god! Something else we found. Hey. I feel emotional. <laughs> <laughs> there is one caveat with this present. What? You have to do a product review an in-running race product review and a product review from someone that doesn't really know how to use a watch at all. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. This is mine? Yeah. And it's actually got a watch in? <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
can't believe it. Thank you so much. That is so kind. <laughs> that looks so different to my normal watch. That's your new running watch and day-to-day -day life watch. Yeah. Oh, she's interested now. Oh, it's really nice. Oh. oh my gosh! I'll let you play around. Can you just confirm to me, Mary, that you're going to do a product review? I will, I promise. <laughs> Garmin on, Vivo Active 4S, so exciting. And this is my first week with it, so it's my third run. I've got a 12 kilometer base pace run through a half week, so it's just nice and steady. And I'm running off heart rate, so. One really exciting thing about this watch for me is that I can have my heart rate on the main screen as I'm running. With my old Forerunner, there were only three sections, which was distance, time and pace. And now I've got four. So I've got distance, time, pace and heart rate that I can check on the screen at any point just for the quick look so it's really going to help me keep my eye on my heart rate and get the most out of all my miles currently i'm running at about five minute kilometers my heart rate's in the 140s so that's good um i'll slow down a bit when i'm going up here in a minute but i'm just keeping an eye on it on the main screen Almost an hour of the run. Uh, it's been really nice, nice and steady, and it makes all the difference just to be able to see my heart rate at a glance because I like to see my pace as well and the distance. So it was a bit annoying with my old one flicking back and forward. So it feels like a real luxury just to have it all there in one go. One other thing worth mentioning is it looks so nice so every time I check my heart rate and pace I'm like oh this is nice and it's a good little boost so 10 out of 10 for good looking watch. And now we're here in the studio and Mary's had the watch for two weeks. Yep. So this is the perfect time after those two weeks you've had time to bed in you've had to have you've had time to look around the functionality to have a quick chat about the watch review it but let me just say this is not going to be a dc rainmaker review in any way we're not going down the rabbit hole this is not in depth this is a review of a layman essentially that we both are we don't use the all of the functionality of a watch but you know we're probably in the majority in terms of how many people access stuff of the watch so yeah Let's talk about it. The first thing to talk about is that the, the 4S is just the smaller version of the 4 for people with smaller wrists. So if you're wondering what the difference is between the 4S and the 4, that is it. So Mary, what about the look and the feel of your watch? I absolutely love how it looks. And my old watch was just black and square. And I used to feel like it's good for running, but didn't quite go with smarter clothes, like for work. Um, it didn't really work, but this is perfect for all occasions yeah it suits everything doesn't yeah. it so yeah. and that's a good thing and um, you know I love you, the strap you chose and you can customize the face yeah so I've got a picture of a sunset in Hawaii which is Your just happy place yeah but functionality this is where it really comes into its own the 4s I think um, you've got the heart rate monitor wrist wise don't you but it, yeah. it attaches to your heart rate monitor as well. Yeah, I use a chest strap and it links really easily. And you could even attach a cadence sensor to your foot so that it picks up your running cadence if you so wished, which you don't have. Are you yawning, Mary? Sorry. <laughs> is, that, is this review that boring? I'm just tired. <laughs> um, but 
Also, data fields, that was big. You talked about it on your run, didn't you? That you could have your four data fields that you wanted on your watch. Yeah, that's what time. I really wanted in a running watch was the ability to see my heart rate straight away as well as my pace and time. And So you've got it set to those. I mean, uh, on the 4S and on the 4, the, the maximum amount of data fields you can have is four, but there are actually 82 variations of data fields you could have. So anything from your things that Mary has, like pace and heart rate, all the way to what you had for dinner in 1983, I believe. Like, is that down the rabbit hole in terms yeah, of the data fields? It's, uh, even swimming ones you can have if, if you're a swimmer, so you can use it for swimming as well. But also it's got an auto pause function, which a lot of Garmin's do, but you've never, you've never had that I before. I didn't, so I was always starting and stopping, and annoyingly sometimes I would forget to restart. Yeah, so auto pause is that if you stop running for any reason, like with us it's usually to get the lead out for the dog or switch it then, or to, um, cross, a road or or to cross a road, then it stop, it pauses there because you're not moving, then it starts again when you're moving, so that's quite good. Yeah, I haven't actually used that bit yet. No. And what about as a smartwatch, like uh, what's its functionality like there? Yeah. Yeah, so I had it connected to my phone and then I could get text messages, calls, like it would just vibrate and I would know what's going on. And you can switch you can switch the vibration on or off, you can have it just to alert you or you can turn everything off or you can allow it to alert you on calls when you're running, so there's a lot of variations you can even have there. Yeah, I think I've set it now just to alert me if someone's calling me when I'm running, yeah. but generally I have it off because I'm back at work and it can be a bit distracting, yeah. um, but it's really good if you want to use that. Yeah, so I mean, and we'll come down to cost now. The, I mean, these things aren't cheap. This was £260. You know, that when you're going for a nice smartwatch, they're not cheap because they're, they're, you know, you use them all of the time and they've got this much functionality. But I mean, for me at the moment, seeing Mary's happiness by using it and having it, it you know that justifies the cost in itself but it is a, a massive step up from what you have i mean different different planet yeah so um i would say yes the cost is a lot but it yeah. justifies the cost i bought i mean this old forerunner was more expensive than that so um and overall what, how do you feel about it overall i love it i absolutely love it i think it's amazing it's really like such high quality and everything looks great, all the graphics and the screens. Yeah, it's bringing me a lot of joy. Good, and that probably overall is the biggest thing, isn't it? It's, it's Yes, it works as a running watch, yes, it works as an everyday watch, but if it brings you joy, that's the main thing, and we would definitely recommend the Garmin Vivo Active 4S as a purchase if you have the expendable income to do so. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Ben. Our oh, pleasure. <laughs> So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the product review and uh, we will be doing more of the same in the future. Exciting things in the planning. This is a podcast studio, so there is a podcast coming as well. And there's a lot more to come from the channel. So uh, get on board, consider subscribing and uh, share the love and we'll see you when we see you. You're going out running tomorrow, right? Big long one. Long run tomorrow.